How's it going Guardians? Shifty here and for those of you who've been around my channel for a while know that I like to make guides for the Legend Lost Sectors upon each new release. Of course with the Witch Queen and a new artifact we have a different meta shakeup and we have a different possible Legend Lost Sector rotation. So with that in mind I will be making guides on the Legend Lost Sectors for this season. I'm going to start today by doing a guide for the Chamber of Starlight Legend Lost Sector. Now, for this Legend Lost Sector, you do have Overload and Unstoppable Champions, the Burn is Solar, and the Shields you'll find throughout are Solar and Void. I also want to say that the recommended power is 1550, so just be aware of that. Even I am a little bit underleveled right now, so I won't reach my maximum potential, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Alright, so in this one, I am going to show you just one run, and that's going to be on a Titan. However, this guide is going to be fairly general, so you can use the same strategy on a Warlock or a Hunter. With that said, I am using Void 3.0 and I'm going to go over just the important pieces. So I am using the Vortex Grenade, which you can now use on any class, including Titans. Since I am trying to make this a general guide, the aspects don't matter that much, but I'm going to show them to you anyway. So I have the Bastion aspect and I have Controlled Demolition on my Titan. The fragments I'm using can be used on any class, obviously. So I have Echo of Remnants, I have Echo of Persistence, and I have Echo of Undermining. As for my weapons, I am using an auto rifle in my kinetic slot. I'm using the crate auto rifle, which is one of the new ones. This is going to be for stunning the overload champion primarily. Then in my energy slot, I have the last perdition void pulse rifle. This is going to be for unstoppable champions, for ad clear and for destroying void shields because match game is on. If you don't have last perdition, you could always use grid skipper or you could swap it out for a hand cannon, although I prefer the range that you get from a pulse rifle. If you choose a different exotic outside of Gallarhorn, you could use Graviton Lance here instead as well. Speaking of Gallarhorn, that is what I'm using for my heavy weapon. Since Solar Burn is on, this does get a 50% damage boost in this Legend Lost Sector. If you are curious what my current artifact setup is, here it is because I've had requests to do this in the past. Now, I'm not going to go over any specific exotic armor pieces because you don't need any one in particular for this Lost Sector. However, I am going to show you my armor mods starting with my helmet and working my way down. So I'll just quickly show you each piece of armor, and if you need to see anything in more detail, just pause the video. And one final note, I do want to point out I'm 1536 power, which means I'm 14 levels under the recommended power level of 1550. With that said, that's all I have for my loadout here. Now, let's get into the run, which will include live commentary. Alright, since this is my first Legend Lost Sector Guide of the season, I'm going to take it pretty slow for you. I'm probably only going to do one run on a Titan, so I'm going to start off with this Unstoppable Champion right here. I'm going to stun it, grenade it for the weakening effect. You may not get it in the first go, you may have to use a second rocket. As you can see, I went for the sniper next, and now I'm going to clear out all of the void shielded acolytes. The void shields on the acolytes are the primary reason I chose to use a void primary, and specifically a void pulse rifle because you get that range. Now you can of course swap out this void pulse rifle for a void hand cannon instead. I'm going to go ahead and hide behind cover there. So two Void Pulse Rifles that you could use are, of course, the one I'm using, which is the Last Perdition. Or you could go ahead and use the Grid Skipper. Alternatively, you could also swap out either of those for Graviton Lance, since it did get that 40% exotic buff to Red Bar enemies. And instead of Gallarhorn, you could use Ascendancy. Ascendancy is another option, especially if you don't have Gallarhorn. It's not going to do quite as well, but it will do the job. The only part it might struggle with a little bit is against the Overload Champion here at the end. You'll see the Overload Champion once we've cleared out pretty much the entire room. It's pretty difficult to burn down right now. The reason being is the Overload SMG and Auto Rifle mod are currently a little bit bugged and don't quite work right and they don't exactly have the range to be able to reliably stun overloads right now. So right now I'm just clearing out the room. 
kind of staying by the entrance here and behind this rock because there's other enemies on the other side of that rock there. We do have a solar shield tonight. I'm going to go ahead and rocket it, of course, and miss. Try that again. Try that again. I'm probably going to have to waste two rockets here. Yep. And I know I'm doing this on a Titan, but the strategy I'm using pretty much works for any class. So just kind of follow it, swapping out things as needed. In this case, I did use a throwing shield there. You don't have to worry about using a throwing shield. It's not necessary for this run. I just used it because I had it. All right, so the unstoppable is almost down. The unstoppable is down. More enemies are going to spawn, so I'm going to backtrack. Clear out some of these taken thrall. And we, of course, have another unstoppable champion here. Probably going to hit its shield instead right there. I do see some heavy ammo lying around, so I'm going to go ahead and use another rocket. I highly recommend putting on double rocket ammo finder and double rocket scavenger. There is a nice rocket scavenger mod from the seasonal artifact. With that, you don't really have to worry about tying up all of your energy on your leg armor with scavenger mods. So I'm going to be clearing out this right side of the room here because that's where I'm going to be going to deal with the boss and the overload champion in the back of this room. So it is pretty much cleared out and I do see a bit more heavy ammo there. Now you're going to see why I chose to come up. Now you're going to see why I chose to come over this direction. There's a nice wall for cover and we can deal with these two hobgoblins up top. If you see that attack coming, I would highly recommend dodging it. It will do a significant amount of damage to you. Again, hiding. Go for the second one. Duck. And this is another reason I chose the Pulse Rifle to go for enemies at range like that. And we'll just clear out the room here. Down low. And then in a moment I will be going for that overload. So I can stun it with my grenade because I do have that mod on my class item. But I can also stun it with my auto rifle which I'm going to do here. And here's where any other rocket might struggle because I'm going to go ahead and stun. And then immediately do two rockets. And that should take it out just like that. If you're using something else, you might struggle a little bit unless you have decent reload speed on your rocket launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and pop my bubble. If you're on a warlock, you could use Nova Bomb. If you're on a hunter, you could use your tether. I'm going to be careful here. And what I'm going to do is toss a grenade for the weaken effect and go ahead and rocket it and rocket it again. Now more enemies are going to spawn here in the middle. I'll just go ahead and rocket those as well. And now that the room is cleared out, except for apparently this one thrall, I'm going to go ahead and open the chest. And there we have it. That is a platinum run of the Chamber of Starlight Legend Lost Sector in Season of the Risen. Now, again, I only showed a run on a Titan, but this strategy should work just as well on a Warlock or Hunter. So I'm not going to bother showing you a run on each of those classes quite yet. Once I start doing faster runs later on in the season, I'll probably show each individual run so that you can see exactly how to do them faster. For now, this is more of a general guide on where you should be positioned and what you should be doing at each section of the Legend Lost Sector. In running this, I was 1536 and the recommended power is 1550. So I just want to let you know it is possible to do it under leveled. 
Anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, remember to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.